Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! As always, I'm really sorry about the wait. This is just a really busy time of the year for me. Uh, so, haven't been able to do a set yet, really, this week. But, it probably won't be an extremely long one this week. Or, I'm sorry, today, but still wanted to do one. Got any cash? Oh, I always got money. We just got the good stuff. We got the shady back market dealer! He's, he's, he's got guns for sale, and he's got iron suits. Oh, I'll take one of those. We'll take three of these. We'll just buy it. We'll buy up the whole store. It'll do you good, as I just spent all of it. That's all right. We were really behind on uh, armor and that sort of stuff. One thing I noticed uh, when I was doing my test recordings... Also, the ribbon not as not as ridiculously amazing as uh, as Final Fantasy would leave you to, lead you to believe. It does not protect against all status ailments, which, funnily enough, there is status ailments in this game. Uh, you just they're just really rare. Uh, we'll see some somewhat soonish, I think. Um, this kind of showcases right here. You can raise their power. I. I genuinely don't think it raises their attack at all, funnily enough. Perhaps when they do their little melee attack if they're close enough. But like, if you were to go to Chrono, plus two power actually increases his attack, you can see. Kind of a weird thing. I I also noticed, so yeah, I don't have, I actually don't even have Marl's first tech yet, which is hilarious. Normally I would have fought Gato or something like that, but... Only if you get past lab 16. No one gets past lab 16, though. Trandome. Trondome. This isn't, uh, this isn't looking so good. Yes, I will. This sounds amazing. Yeah! Oh, I love this. One of the most iconic lines from this game, but you're still hungry. Something's not right here, guys. These, uh... We got shady back market dealers. No one looks particularly well off here. Well, let's see if we can get past the dreaded Lab 16. Marl, you're really far behind. Let's let her catch up. You don't need to, but... Oh, this music. They said they don't react to weapons and s guns and swords. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. He just steals tonics. <laughs> and same with him. Oh, well. Where we're going, we don't need tonics. I believe this is an accessory. What does this do again? Oh, that's right. It. <laughs> there's no berserk status effect in this game. But this will give you it. Uh, pretty not worth. <laughs> all things considered. I guess, I guess except maybe for one party member later. Oh my god! We got brain slugs. See, I never understood they're like, they don't react to guns and swords. Gets blown up from guns and swords. I know what enemies they're referring to, but it's just kind of funny that he says that right before you fight these guys. I like the little flourish. I think she like giggles when she misses sometimes. The rat's back. The rat pack. Eh, I could have. Ah, oh, yeah. Boy. Will not get my tonic stolen. Ah, trap chest, sort of. I don't think we sought that last battle because we killed him so fast, but generally you want to kill this guy first because he does heal the others, if I remember correctly. Luca's actually putting out respectable damage with her regular attack after we bought her a new gun. We'll do this, though. For, for flair and style. Actually, no, it's... I tell you what, these guys don't react to his fire. They're really all right with that. Okay. 
So this is where speed comes into play. Chrono gets two attacks before anyone else even gets to move again. Uh, speed is just, you know, it's the king. Aura Whirl. One of my favorite double techs. We'll be using that occasionally. A load sword. This is like our third load sword. They give you so many of these bad boys. How many? I guess we have two now. Okay. If we would have bought one from Melikor, uh, we would have three. <laughs> my tonic money! Load bow! Marl, you definitely need this. Look at that. More than double. My god, octopus. So I was thinking, I might give streaming a try either today or tomorrow, because I've been playing New Doom quite a bit, which is just a fantastic game, and maybe I might use it as an excuse to just test the waters, maybe give streaming a little try. I don't know. I can't say anything for certain, but I'll put a video up on YouTube letting you guys know that it's happening uh, if you're interested. Because uh, I've probably just been playing that game in general. That's, it's such a... One of my favorites from last year. Unexpected out of nowhere. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now she shoots. Now she shoot, shoots sparkles with that bow. Much better than before. Ah, we'll fight these guys because we're going to fight the last ones. Just so we see what they are. They're kind of an interesting enemy. They erupt. And then I believe when you hit ones when they're close enough to each other, if you don't just instantly slaughter them, I just instantly slaughter them. But they do have a counter attack, I believe, that they like to do. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe I just go to town and kill all of them. Got blue diamonds, spooby ghosts. They're not ghosts. Now these are the enemies they refer to as. Man, they, 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 the guns and swords just don't do anything. I'll I'll demonstrate actually. Demonstrate for me, Chrono. Yeah, you, you just miss. But you throw some fire on them, and then they get pretty bummed out. Ah, we have Slash with Chrono. The description. Slash attack! You might notice that we're actually not... Our next tech would normally appear with how many tech points we need. And it's not there. Hmm. Don't worry. That, he doesn't learn two techs and that's it. We will get more later. But we have actually gotten as many techs as we can for him. Now, the sword will actually hurt them when combining with fire. Oh my god. Oh, and Maro got slowed. What a catastrophe. And yet Luca is still roughly about the same. <laughs> Luca's so slow. But dang it, she tries. Now this is prime cyclo fire cyclone territory. Ah, 
I was gonna fight that giant octopus monster, but you do still get your fill of giant octopus monster right here. Or a mutant. He is an X-Men now, apparently. You know what? Just just to show it, let's show Aura World. One of my favorite this is such an iconic tech for this game. Little bit of healing for everyone. Oh, and I suppose, well, actually, no, this isn't a good time to demonstrate Slash at all. There's only one enemy. A lot of Chrono's starting techs involve uh, trying to hit multiple enemies, whereas his later ones aren't necessarily the case. We made it through the dreaded Lab 16. That wasn't so bad. I don't know why those guys freak out about that. The Aristone. These people don't look much better off. I'm from the future! Wasn't that, wasn't that hard? Say again, say what? Everyone's pretty impressed with us. We're, we're the new kids on the block. Uh-oh. Yeah, for realsies. <laughs> it's not that I liked you or anything. We get the most Sunder man. Such a pity. Dynamite won't budget. Oh, that's all right. We'll make it through. No, not for you. I hate wise guys. Yeah, same stuff as before. That is what he used to say to the Energron. Unfortunately, we're still cripplingly hungry. That's all right. We shall find this man in the basement for clearly. Yeah. No one's ever returned from the basement. I'll work on it. I'll try. No promises. Super password. this now. Let's see if I still remember the exact route to take. It really isn't that complex. A statue? <gasps> no! Could this be the mystery of the basement? Maybe the mystery of the basement is the fact that you gotta walk along the rafters to get to where you need to go. Uh, seems legit. Executing program kill.exe Now this boss when I first fought him as a kid actually kind of wrecked me uh, It was the first boss that made me think so it's really not complex by today's standards, but attack the main body They form a Delta attack that looks super dope And actually hurts big time yeah, no, that's that's huge damage for this point in the game. So, obviously the smart thing to do would be to not attack the main body and slowly kill yourself. <laughs> not even slowly kill yourself, quickly kill yourself. Instead, we will take out these bits. Okay. 
can't remember if Fire Whirl is actually good against these guys. Actually, no, that's a bad idea, because I think hitting the main body at all is just really bad news. Aha! And we could leave... Actually, I think I'll showcase it. I think he still does, like, a team-up attack if there's one left, but it's not nearly as devastating. Yeah. This is just his one person instead of all three. So we'll get rid of the other bit as well. Because we're not ridiculously stupid. And now we can go ham! This reminds me, I really need to get the cursor on memory. Oh, we got a countdown. Mm, I almost feel like I should maybe ease off a little bit. I don't think I can kill him before, because I want to just, you know, show you guys as much as possible. I'll make sure that he at least does the countdown at uh, once. Now, the only thing about this game that could be really nice for them to do, I accidentally, I meant to pick Chrono there. Uh, and, you know, I'll be the... I always look at games super objectively. Uh, and, yeah, there's little complaints even I have with this game. One being, I wish I had a way to see my max HP, so that I could see if I actually needed more healing or not. But, revives the bit! And then they just come back. But I believe they come back with less HP than before. Uh, so they're easier to take down. So it's not nearly as annoying. There we go. Now we just go ham again. I, really, I don't think he's really weak to fire, so for the most part, you just keep slamming regular attacks into him. Because we don't have anything that much more complex than that at this point. Plus, Chrono crits. Super often, way more often than I remember him <laughs> doing. Breakdown! Kill.exe canceled illegal operation. I don't know what was that. I've, I've never seen that. He's like, ah, run into the bottom. Uh oh. Well, crap. We're all gonna starve. You know, I never thought about this, but in the Super Nintendo era, it was really taboo to talk about death. That's the most direct, one of the most direct death comments I've seen in one of these translations. I never thought about that. Passed away. Like, they really actually say that he's dead, basically. Hmm, a seed, you say. On a soiled sheet of paper. So he wiped his ass with it before. <laughs> the rat is more than just a statue! It knows the secret! Well, we... We must find this rat, who was in completely immobile earlier, but apparently is more than just a statue. He's more than meets the eye. He may or may not be a Transformer. I completely forgot about this! Do these enemies normally show up? I completely forgot about these dudes. I don't normally forget about things. In this game. Interesting. Attacked by moving objects! Fire randomly! We 
got crazy robots. Curses. Oh, Chrono, you're looking not good. Hypno Toad Wave. You know, I need to use it. I like never use that tech. Let's let's use it a bit on this run. See if we can do silly things with it. I don't know if it's actually useful in any capacity or not. <gasps> it's more than just a statue! Dash with the B button, catch him with the A button! I don't know if this exists purely to try and get people like, make sure you use the B button to run. If you're not, oh wow, he might actually get away. Okay, it, it actually runs off screen and it's kind of annoying because you gotta go back in and try it again. Press and hold the L and R buttons and then press the A button to access the secret passage, squeak! I don't know why they say don't make any mistakes or you'll be sorry because I've never seen this go wrong. Like, I, there's nothing bad that can happen from getting it wrong. Funnily enough, this was actually the bane. If you were playing on an emulator back in the day, a lot of people played on keyboards because controllers weren't easy to configure back then. And so it's kind of hard to push three buttons at once on a keyboard. I almost wonder if it was at partially anti-piracy back in the day to a certain degree. Oh, I forgot. There's a treasure chest right there. Luckily, we can scoot past these guys pretty easy. Let's find out the secret of the doom. Also, machinery vacuum noises from them slowly moving back and forth. Boop. But it's still sealed. You guys know the drill there. It's everything so mysteriously sealed in this world. We still haven't figured out exactly where we're at in time. The Info Center! Clickety clack, clickety clack. Scanning for time warps! Bring up the super grid! I love how this computer has a built-in time gate search function. <laughs> Makes no sense. The Protodome. Super button? You like buttons? 19... The distant future of 1999 AD? That doesn't look good. Well, that doesn't look good. We've got volcanoes. We got... That's more than a volcano. That is definitely more than a volcano. I think we know why this place is a desolate wasteland. We gotta change the future? Oh 
know. I, I guess so. I mean, it's... We've got to try and change the world being destroyed. 19, 999 years from their present time. Yeah. We gotta beat them. We gotta stop it. The Protodome. If you want, you can watch the scene again if you press the button. But we got action music. And the thing I love about this part of the game is I can be like, you know what? Battle time. The music keeps going. And I think it's such a nice touch because you're... I don't know about you guys. After seeing that footage, I'm so ready to save the future. Ah. Oh. I just love the way this game sets it up that you think they might just do like little back to the future moments where it's like, oh, you keep accidentally messing things up, but no. Now you gotta purposely change the future to stop everything. Music keeps going, and cue the music cutting out. Although I love that music. You're back! Yeah, we kind of figured out why you guys are kind of in a desolate wasteland. Bummer about Lavos. I love that. This is our future! <laughs> They're like, this person's crazy. One se yep, seeds. Because if we die, the, the world kind of, you know, lives with you guys. I think it's because we're healthy. That might be part of it. We actually get to eat, and they've eaten, like, once in a week. <laughs> now, this is my favorite weird translation quirk, because the way they make it sound, it sounds like he's saying, Heal? The? Got a nice ring to it. But it's like, no, it's healthy. <laughs> seeds. My god, they're our future. The bike key! bringing hope back to this desolate wasteland Mad Max future. Actually, it's not that Mad Max. Oh, no. See, this is always sad because she's like, Daddy, sure taking his time. He's like, oh, your daddy died a long time ago. Set the Enertron. <sighs> Still hungry. Those seeds better start growing fast with super future. All right, we're gonna leave it here for today. We know the true evil, evil of the future, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this set. Thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate all the comments. Uh, until next time, later, everyone.